and thank you so much for joining our live stream. We are very excited to talk with you today about our recently approved MiniMed 770G system. My name is Kim Larson, and I am the National Clinical Director here at Medtronic Diabetes, a registered dietitian and diabetes educator, and I've been with Medtronic for 13 years. I'm personally very excited to be with you here today and share information about our MiniMed 770G system. Now, from my experience working with our customers, I know how essential convenience is for those using technology. And with this system, people can discreetly check their insulin delivery history and CGM trends all on their phones. It's a pretty amazing feature. Now, I'll go into more detail about that soon. But first, I want to share with you that the MiniMed 770G system is FDA approved for individuals as young as two years old that are living with type 1 diabetes. Next slide, please. So I want to walk you through our plan for our time together today. First, we'll walk through some of the system's different components, including smartphone connectivity. We'll let you know about programs that are available to help you gain access to this new system. And then finally, we'll chat about our goals for the future. Now, at any time, you can submit your questions on the right-hand side of the screen where it says, type your question. Now, during this session, you'll hear from me, but you'll also hear from a few folks, including some of those who use Medtronic technology and are here to share their experience. It's gonna be a great session. Next slide, please. So let's start by taking a look at the components that make up the MiniMed 770G system. Next slide, please. Okay, so let's start with the insulin pump. So the insulin pump is a device used to deliver insulin to the body through a small flexible tube. This tube is called an infusion set. Now with this system, people can access a technology that makes adjustments to the amount of insulin delivered every five minutes. And I'll talk more about this soon. Next, we have our continuous glucose monitor, often referred to as CGM. Now our CGM uses a sensor and a transmitter to monitor glucose levels. And every five minutes, it checks levels and can send those readings to the pump. Those readings are used by the pump to calculate the personalized amount of insulin that I just mentioned. Now third, we are super excited about the smartphone apps that are available with this system. We have one app that is used by the person who's wearing the system. And then we have a second app that is for the care partner. Both apps display data that can be seen on the pump screen. So that means that the sugar levels, information about insulin delivery, and other pump status information can all be viewed on a smartphone. Now, finally, this system comes with a blood glucose meter. The meter can be used to calibrate the system. And for the MiniMed 770G system, it is recommended that you calibrate at least twice per day. Now, you can see on the right, the system is being worn on the body. And I'll mention that both the CGM and the infusion sets are proved to be worn on different places on the body. So you really have options and can wear it in the place that works best for you. Next slide, please. Now, let's talk about insulin adjustments with the system. Our technology that powers insulin automation is called SmartGuard Auto Mode. Let's take a look at the next slide to see how it works. So here's a quick look at how the automation works. The pump uses CGM readings to determine how much insulin should be delivered. And the pump runs those calculations every five minutes. So it's able to really personalize insulin delivery in real time. Now this graph helps to show why automation is essential. It helps to keep sugar levels in a target range so that highs and lows can be avoided. And as you can see here, when sugars are trending high, the system gives more insulin to really bring those sugar levels back down to target. Now if sugar levels are trending low, it's able to offer less insulin or even no insulin. This really helps bring those sugar levels back to a target range. Now here at Medtronic, we've been using insulin pump automation for a few years. 
And what I'd like to do now is really transition to some folks who wear the technology to tell us a little bit about their insulin pump automation experience. Next slide, please. I'm gonna start by introducing you to Dr. Jennifer McBean. Now, Dr. McBean is an Associate Professor of Pediatric Endocrinology at the University of Minnesota. And Dr. McBean's immense passion for type one diabetes stems from her own diagnosis at age 11. Now, Dr. McBean is very active in the diabetes community, supporting and serving on several diabetes related committees, including the JDRF. So I wanna give a warm welcome to Dr. McBean. Now, Dr. McBean, thanks so much for joining. I wanna start by really sharing with the audience a little bit about your journey. How long ago did you start using a Medtronic insulin pump? Yeah, well, I was diagnosed with diabetes in January of 1988 when I was 11. I continued with injections for 19 years. And to be honest, it took me that long to accept having type one diabetes and to be willing to wear a device on my body. And when I finally did, oh, how freeing that was. I actually started CGM first in November of 2006, and I very quickly realized that I needed a pump. And I started the Minimed Paradigm real-time system shortly thereafter. And when I now reflect on my nearly 33 years of living with type one diabetes, there are really two days that stand out for me in that diabetes journey. The first is the day that I started insulin in January of 1988. And the second is the day that I started automated insulin delivery in June of 2017. Oh, I love that. So if you could tell us a little bit more about that, what was the impact that automated insulin adjustments had for you? Decreased mental burden. Type 1 diabetes is a 24-7, 365 disease without a break ever. As you all know, we are having to ask ourselves constant questions. Should I increase my basal? Should I decrease my basal? It's exhausting. But now that I have an automated system that's always working in the background every five minutes, 288 times a day to increase my insulin or decrease my insulin, to minimize my highs and lows, that is absolutely life-changing. I used to describe living with diabetes as having a boulder on my back, hiking up a mountain. Now with automated insulin delivery, I describe it as a backpack walking up a hill. Type one diabetes is still there, it's not gone. It's just so much easier to manage. Mm -hmm. I love that analogy. It's so descriptive of really your journey with automated insulin. So I do want to ask you, Dr. McVean, as a pediatric endocrinologist, I know you have several patients that wear Medtronic technology with SmartGuard Auto Mode. And what do you see are some of the benefits that they've experienced? As a pediatric endocrinologist, I take care of children. And what this has done for them is it's given them more playing time, more time in the game. They get to spend more time in their classroom learning and less time in the nurse's office. They get to spend more time playing out on the soccer field and less time on the sidelines. Really what I feel like they're getting is more time to be kids and less time to need to worry about type one diabetes. Yeah, who doesn't want that? More time to be kids, more, times to be in, more time to be in the game. That's exactly what we're all striving for. Dr. Rickveen, thank you so much for sharing. I'm gonna have you stick around um, because I am gonna introduce another individual. Uh, if you go to the next slide, please. I wanna welcome Katie. Katie currently wears a Medtronic insulin pump and she's a mom to a pretty amazing kiddo named Nicholas who also wears a pump. Now, Katie was previously a patient ambassador for Medtronic and we are so fortunate that she actually recently joined Medtronic as an employee and now works with people living with diabetes in the state of Nebraska. So Katie, thank you so much for being on with us. Now, Dr. McVean, I'm gonna actually pass this over to you so that you can lead a discussion with Katie here. Thank you. Well, Katie, the Minimed 770G is approved for those as young as age two. Your son wears an insulin pump, a therapy that some of the parents watching may be considering. 
why did your family choose an insulin pump for Nicholas? Yeah, well, thanks. So Nicholas was diagnosed in December of 2019. And because of my own experience using technology, we wanted to start exploring similar options for Nicholas. And so Nicholas started on the Medtronic pump immediately following his diagnosis. We chose Medtronic because we were concerned about Nicholas's low blood sugars. And we knew this pump had the capability of suspending insulin if Nicholas was going low. I also believed that this pump would give Nicholas the freedom to live a life as close to normal as possible. And that's what we all want when we live with type one, isn't it? Well, what have you liked about smart guard auto mode? Yeah, so this technology has given me peace of mind as a mom. I can confidently say that it has helped prevent Nicholas's low blood sugars. In fact, since he's been in auto mode, he has not experienced an overnight low blood sugar, which means we feel that he's safe and we're all able to get a good night's sleep. The other thing is we don't really worry when Nicholas is away from us because we have total confidence in auto mode. I know it's constantly adjusting Nicholas's basal rates based on his blood glucose. So it's almost like having a babysitter with him at all times. Which provides a lot of comfort, doesn't it? Well, for those who are new to automated technology, it can take a while to trust the system. What has your experience been? Yes. Well, it did take a while to trust the system when I first started it. I had a hard time trusting the technology. I've been diabetic for 34 years. And much like your experience, Dr. McFeen, I was used to being in constant control and making all the decisions. I actually started to trust the system when I uploaded my data and could see a snapshot of my blood glucose levels and then how automation was actually contributing to my control. My trust in the system is the exact reason I pushed so hard to get the same system for Con or for Nicholas, sorry, right after his diagnosis. Well, thank you so much for talking about the automation. You know, in the next section, Kim is going to discuss smartphone connectivity, meaning the ability to see both glucose and insulin pump information on your smartphone. Well, as a parent, what is it going to mean for you to be able to see Nicholas's glucose and pump information on your smartphone? To have that ability to see Nicholas's blood glucose level and pump information on my phone would be like the cherry on top. It would give me a greater sense of peace of mind when he's away from me, just knowing that I can quickly glance at my phone and see what his blood glucose is doing and also see the pump data like reservoir amount, um, battery life, active insulin on board right from my phone. Just last week, Nicholas's teacher called me to tell me he only had nine units left in his pump and he was really worried. It will be life-changing to both of us to be able to have that information readily available on my phone. Well, thank you so much, Katie, for sharing your experience. And now, Kim, I'm going to hand things back over to you. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dr. McVean and to Katie. I really love hearing about Nicholas and really how the Minimed 770G system is going to allow him to get more time back in the game. So again, this system is FDA approved for individuals as young as two years old that are living with type one diabetes, just like Nicholas. What I'd like to do now is really spend some time talking about the different apps that are compatible with the Minimed 770G system. Next slide, please. So there are two apps. And the first app that I wanna to describe to you is the Minimed mobile app. Now, this is the app that is used by the person that is wearing the system. It is available on both iOS and Android devices. And on this slide here, you can actually see some of the different views that you would have access to. So glucose notifications, glucose levels and insulin delivery, and of course, time and range. If we go to the next slide, please, we'll actually take a closer look. So on the left-hand side, you can actually see the home screen. Now this is a mirror of what you can see on the pump. And up at the top is the current glucose level. Those little purple dots that you see there in the middle, they actually show when the insulin was delivered. And at the bottom is the glucose trend over, the top, over time. 
Now on the right hand side is an example of a glucose alert. These alerts work for both high and low glucose episodes. So it's a pretty slick app. If you go to the next slide, please, I wanna show you just a few more views that are available on the app. So on the left is the time and range overview. Now this screen shows how much time you're spending in a target glucose range. And closer to the bottom, you'll actually see a breakdown of how much time is spent high and low. And on the right is the screen that gives you insights into your pump status. So you can see your pump's battery status, how much insulin is left in the reservoir. It's pretty great. You'll also be able to see the status information for your CGM. So this will tell you information like your transmitter battery level, how long you've been wearing your current sensor. So now that we've reviewed the app that the individual using the system would have, I wanna transition and talk about the app that their care partners would have access to. Okay, perfect. So here's the app that can be used for care partners and it's called the CareLink Connect app. Now up to five partners, whether it's a parent or a spouse or friends or whoever you'd like, can now see data on their phone. And this app shows very similar information to what a pumper sees. It's just in a little bit of a different formatting. Now you'll see on the left is an example of a high glucose notification. Care partners can receive information about the pump, such as a low battery notification. And on the right, you'll see the home screen. And this is very similar to the Miniman mobile app. Now care partners can quickly check sugar levels and insulin all directly from their home screen. Pretty exciting. So now that you've seen both of the apps, what I wanna do is show you an example of how data sharing and alerts can impact everyday life. And in this example, we're gonna take a look at Jane's experience. So Jane is little Jack's mother who lives with type one diabetes. And like many parents, Jane sometimes worries about Jack's levels at nighttime. And so with this system, she can quickly glance at her phone and see his levels are in range so that she can go back to sleep. Now at 10 a.m., Jane receives an alert that Jack's glucose level is low. The school nurse gets the exact same notification and gives Jack a snack. Now Jane can see on her app that his, le his levels have come back into the target range and that insulin delivery has resumed. Now it's just after lunchtime. Jane glances at her phone and she can confirm that the school nurse gave Jack his mealtime insulin. Okay, now school is wrapped and Jack is on a play date with his friend David. And Jane wants to make sure his levels are stable. She looks at her phone and sees his sugar levels are in range. And she also confirms that the pump battery and insulin reservoir look good. So this is just one example of how a care partner might use the app to really help get more peace of mind. All right, let's go to the next slide, please. And I'm gonna welcome back in Dr. McVean. So Dr. McVean, we just reviewed connectivity and the two apps. Now, I know you see kids of all ages in your clinic. How do you think this connectivity will impact different age groups? Absolutely. Well, when we look at the very youngest children, the two to six-year-olds, they often have multiple caregivers, parents, daycare providers, even grandparents. And, you know, smartphone connectivity may give mom and dad the comfort and the ability to go out for their first date or even weekend away since their child was diagnosed with diabetes. When you think about the elementary age child, they also have multiple people involved in their care, parents, teachers, school nurses, coaches. As we move towards the teenage years, this is a time where teenagers are beginning to take more control of their diabetes and parents are gradually letting go of that control and giving it to the teen. We do have conversations here about smartphone connectivity with boundaries and when are the times that parents are absolutely connected, perhaps overnight. But maybe there are some times during the day for a couple hours where the parents aren't so the child can feel that he or she has some independence. And the oldest kids that I take care of are the, the college students. 
And I really think smartphone connectivity is very important for this age group. When you think about many college students who the parents are sending them off to college across the country, knowing now that both the parents as well as the child at college have access to that data, it really feels like they're more connected and I think makes everyone feel a bit safer. Yeah, it's really that peace of mind that's key. Now, I imagine that adults with type 1 diabetes, like yourself, could benefit from connectivity as well. It, can you share a little bit about how connectivity might impact you and your family? Sure. I am really looking forward to connectivity, especially this time of year. So I live in Minnesota, which means that I am in a parka and multiple layers of clothing for a good six months of the year. I'm also a very proud hockey mom, and I spend a lot of time at the rink. I am really looking forward to being able to just simply glance at my phone and see my insulin and my glucose information instead of having to dig through all those layers. You know, I think the Care Partner app is also just as important for adults living with type 1 as it is for children and their parents. There are many adults with type 1 who live on their own or are single parents. For me and my family, my husband has a job where sometimes he has to work nights, which means that I'm home alone with our three children. I really look forward to having him be able to connect with my glucoses and my pump information. So I know that there's an extra set of eyes on things. Yeah, I, I love those insights. And uh, hopefully you can keep warm this winter with the help of Minimed 770G. Absolutely. So thanks so much, Dr. McVean. I really appreciate your insights. Okay, let's move on to our next section here. Um, and one really important thing that I want to mention about connectivity. So we recently announced that our new system is enabled for future software upgrades. So this means that when we release new software and it becomes available to current customers for upgrades, that this pump can update without any hardware changes. But Medtronic is committed to providing customers with one software upgrade at no charge through December 2021. Okay, let's go to our next slide, please. And I'll wrap up our conversation about the Minimed 770G system with just a brief overview of options available to customers who are interested in purchasing a new device. So if you go to the next slide, please. So if you are an individual that is interested in purchasing a new system, whether it's because you've never used an insulin pump technology before, or maybe you have a Medtronic device that's no longer under warranty, we have a pro program that can help spread out the startup cost of beginning therapy. Now on average, people in the program pay about $49 a month, and that cost can go up and down based on your insurance plan. Another factor to consider is when you buy. So for example, many people have already met their deductible. They have a deductible reset that happens at the end of a calendar year. So a purchase in November or December may actually provide you a lower out-of-pocket cost if you compare it to other times of the year. So what I want you to know is that with this program, it covers your entire startup cost. You get the pump. CGM, pump supplies, and CGM supplies, all covered for three months. Now, if you'd like to learn more about this program, uh, you can visit our website at MedtronicDiabetes.com backslash flex, F-L-E-X. Okay, now what if you're a current customer of ours? So if you are currently a Medtronic customer and you have an in-warranty device and you'd like to upgrade, the best place to start is by logging into your account that is located at www.diabetes.shop. Now in there, you will actually be able to see what your upgrade options are. And if you're part of any special programs that will actually help you access the latest technology. Next slide, please. Now, one last thing that I wanna to touch on that is essential to consider when choosing a new de device it's all about the support that you will have access. Now, we are incredibly proud to have a very large support team made up of both local representatives and remote team members. 
and our amazing local clinicians are located around the country and are available for in-person product training. Now, in light of COVID-19, you can also choose to meet with a local clinician virtually to receive your training. Our remote team members are available by phone, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And whenever you need help, they will be there to answer your questions. Now, lastly, a really important note here. Your data from the Minimed 770G system can easily be shared with your healthcare provider. This system helps to eliminate the need for manual device uploads at the doctor's office, really streamlining your doctor's visit. And it can also make those virtual appointments much easier for you since your doctor can actually see your data online. So I want to make sure that you know how to learn more about the Minimed 770G system. So you can always visit us at MedtronicDiabetes.com or you can call one of our diabetes therapy consultants at 800-646-4633. They are available weekdays between 9 and 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And thank you to our audience for joining and listening. We appreciate it. Thanks so much. Bye.